Hey everyone, welcome to another training video in SC200 Microsoft Security Operations Analyst series. In this video, I will cover the module on performing the device investigations. The key topics of the module are use the device page in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, describe the device forensics information collected by Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, describe the behavioral blocking by Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. My name is Navneet Kumar and I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer. The device inventory page in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint displays a list of devices in your network where the security alerts have been triggered. By default, it shows the devices that have generated the alerts within the last 30 days. This helps security teams quickly identify and investigate the compromised or the vulnerable devices. The page provides the valuable insights into which the endpoints need immediate attention and allows for streamlined management and the remediation. As you see in the screenshot, it shows the computer and mobile devices as categorized into one, network devices, IoT devices, and the uncategorized devices. When we investigate the devices, the investigation of a specific device in Microsoft Defender Endpoint has different level of uh, uh, processes to perform. The different details that are available in the investigate the device page are like the device details. The device details shows the basic information about the device like the name of the device, the operating system version of it, or the security status of it. The response actions that shows the options to take the actions like, you know, isol isolating the device or running any antivirus scan or blocking the processes. There are several tabs over there like overview tab, which shows the high level status and the activity summary of the device alerts that lists the security alerts associated with that device. The timeline, this is a chronological view of the events and the actions on the device. Security recommendations that suggest the actions to improve the device's security posture. Software inventory, a list of installed applications on the devices is displayed through this software inventory. Discovered vulnerabilities, shows the known security weaknesses that are detected on the device. Missing KBs, any missing update or the patches are displayed through this. We have several cards that we can use like active alerts, which shows the current security alerts that require the attention as you see in the screenshot with high or 25 active alerts in two incidents have been displayed. Logged on users, it shows you the information about the users currently signed into these devices. The security assessment, the security assessment shows a security health check of the device based on the latest policies. These details help the security teams thoroughly analyze and respond to the threats on any individual device. Talking about the behavioral blocking, the behavioral blocking and the containment in the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint helps detecting and stopping the threats based on suspicious behaviors and the processes patterns. Even if the threat has already started, it leverages next generation protection, endpoint detection and response, the EDR and the Defender components to work together in identifying any malicious activity in near real time. By monitoring the process behavior, Defender can block malicious actions, contain the threats and prevent further damage even if the attack has bypassed other defenses. The behavioral blocking and containment capabilities can help identify and stop the threats based on their behaviors and the process trees, even when the threat has already been started. Well, here you see the screenshot or an 
image the infographic that shows you that there are some scripts emulations executions and the post behavior uh, post breach behaviors the pre-execution detection engines can use the metadata based xml file classification ml reputation ml or the smart rules detonation based ml is also part of it it can uh, uh, use heuristics emulations and client side mls before the execution detection okay pre-execution detection engine whereas the post execution detection engine can use the behavioral based ml or amsi paired ml the behavioral monitoring amsi integration memory scanning network monitoring are some of the key capabilities of it well this brings to the end of this module i will see you in the next video where we will discuss about performing the actions on a device i hope this was informative to you thanks for watching and do subscribe the channel if you are new to this